and we can see we're almost there with 10 marks off the end uh, and if you are 100% so far like the question before you'd be at an A star so pause the video now and have a go okay so uh, this one involves simplifying uh, algebraic fraction now with these ones, when it says simplifying, it's got a whole load of gibberish at the top and a whole load of gibberish at the bottom. You will need to factorise. Um, so we know we need to factorise. These ones give you a little bit more of a hint because to be able to simplify it, you need to have a bracket at the top and bottom, which is the same. So if you do the easier one first, it might actually help you with the slightly more complicated one, which is the one at the bottom. So I'm going to do the top one first. Now I know there's going to be... Uh, two sets of brackets because it's a quadratic. Let's try and do a nice line for the fraction. Okay, so again, again like the one we had earlier, if it's an x squared there it's going to be x and x there. They've got uh, two numbers have to times together to make minus 4 and add together to make 3, which means one of them is going to be a minus. And only uh, two pairs of numbers make four, one and four and two and two. Um, it's going to have to be a positive four and a negative one because four take away one is positive three. So there's our choice there. And for the one at the bottom, this time it says 2x squared. Now there is a, a good method for doing this, but actually we don't need to do that. Because we know this is going to be have to be 2x and x, it can be either way around, but I'm going to do 2x first. And we're looking at this, we've got a negative there and a positive there. So it's either going to be both positive or both negative, but they add to give it to make a negative. So the only way we're going to have a positive if they... Um, times together is if they're both positive or both both negative but we've got negative here so they're both having to be negative the only one at the top that's negative is this one so that's going to be x minus 1 and 1 times 3 is 3 and you can check that see if that works and it does actually expand to 2x squared minus 5x plus 3 when you um, expand it Okay, so the next step is to cross off or divide top and bottom by x minus 1. So you end up with x plus 4 at the top. You don't need the bracket anymore. And then 2x minus 3 at the bottom. So your answer is x plus 4 over 2x minus 3. And some people just put lines through them. So do that as well, put a line through them both to say that we're cancelling them down. Okay. Now this next one it says write this uh, as a single fraction in simplest form. Um, if you if we go off, off topic a second, if we remember how to do this, what we need to do is get the bottoms the same and then add the tops. But we know the cheap method is times the three and the four together. So what I want to do is times both of these by 4 to get 4 over 12 and times both of these by the 3 here to get 3 over 12 and then we add the tops together. Just because there's algebra here it's exactly the same process but this time we've got an x minus 2 at the bottom and an x plus 2 at the bottom of this one. So what we want to do is times both of these by the denominator of this fraction so it becomes 4 brackets x minus 2 because we're timesing the top by x minus 2 and we're timesing the bottom by x minus 2 so x plus 2 and we're timesing it by x minus 2 okay and we need to add that to 3 times the bottom of this one so it'd be x plus 2 and then with the bottom we've got x minus 2 we, we can put x plus 2 first, x minus 2. Okay, so we've got common denominators there, so we can just add the tops. 
and I apologize for my dodgy straight line there. So x plus 2, x minus 2, and we're doing the same as we did over here. We're keeping the bottoms the same and adding the tops. Now this one is 4 times x, so I'm going to expand these brackets, so 4x minus 8 plus 3x plus 6. And to finish that off, I want to add the 4x and the 3x together to make 7x. Minus 8 plus 6 is minus 2. And then all of that is over x plus 2, x minus 2. And notice you don't need to expand the bottom because it doesn't make it it doesn't make it any more simple in expanding that. In fact, it makes it more complicated. So that's the answer. Let's have a look at the mark scheme. And you can see here that they've done exactly what I've done. Um, I don't think there's many other ways of doing that.